All right, guys, I'm back. We got ourselves some Away Days Brits Abroad Red Ale. And this one comes in at 5.8. And uh, Jack from the Virtual Groom Room brought me up um, a mixed four pack from Away Days. The brewery is out of Portland, Oregon. And so he was telling me that um, Away Days is kind of a European like a um, style brewery you know they do a lot of uh, European style ales old, old English style ales um, and they have these um, kind of somewhat local sayings as their beer names and I guess Brits Abroad is kind of um, a thing that uh, you know the British say amongst each other when they're out of, out of um, country, you know what I mean? When, and Jack was telling me that when you get a bunch, a bunch of Brits abroad, you know there's going to be beer around and they're going to get, you know, um, very merry and, and riled up and, and just having a good time. And, um, you know, so he was saying that's what Brits abroad is, is the Brits, you know, Whenever they're out of town, they kind of congregate with each other and, oh, there's Brits abroad, and uh, they're going to have a good time. So, all right, let's crack it open, see if this is any good. Jack was telling me that it is uh, pretty good stuff. So I just got a normal mug here. Woo! Bit of a warm mug by the looks of it. We got a shit ton of carbonation here which is fine it smells good I did notice on the side it said dank multi and dependable I like that I like the uh, sound of that definitely got a lot of foam in there but I had that nice um, slightly sweet kind of caramel bready uh, features to it I didn't get a whole lot of uh, hoppiness and there wasn't like you know a lot of times reds will use like spicy um, like floral hops and it'll give it a different finish compared to like an IPA I didn't get a whole lot of that on the taste but I do smell it um, on the nose mm. it is really good though. all right we're gonna be using holy cause Cedrati and this is actually in their vegan base now I know Sierra is pretty good a lot of people like Sierra I thought it was a bit finicky to lather and at, as a result it didn't give me a whole bunch of volume to lather with but the soap was good it's just I felt like I used a lot of soap for a little bit of lather so I wanted to try their vegan base and I'd heard good things about it let me give you a look at the uh, back side it has all the ingredients an absolute laundry list and I, what I always liked about holy cow was a hops extract so I'll give you a look at what's inside I actually used this yesterday as well I did an IG live, so if you're not following me on IG and you feel like it, definitely check it out. This is their base, and look at how dense that is that my brush actually was holding still for a moment. <laughs> that, I mean, that, that is not to be fucked with. Like that, that density, come on. <laughs> Alright, so there's a look at the, uh, the lather there brilliant shine I didn't have to use a lot of soap to get a lot of lather that is what I'm fucking talking about so that's my Lancaster bowl I'm using the same exact setup as yesterday got my Viking handle and this is a beautiful uh, wooden resin uh, hybrid and then on top we got the strike gold shave executive knot which is a hand tied custom tied badger knot so I'm gonna throw a little bit of uh, menthol additive into it today 
This was sent to me, well, actually a whole bag of these were sent to me by good old Mac Shaves um, on Instagram and YouTube. So I'm going to put a little bit of that in the bowl. And I know I'm kind of dragging out this intro, but fuck it. It is what it is. I only got to paint the lather on anyhow. But yeah, these are basically menthol drops that it was sent uh, with every declaration grooming order. He sends some of those drops. And they're meant to be like added to the aftershave if you're interested in that sort of thing. And then you could also add them to your lather like I just did. Although, I will warn you, uh, putting menthol into your lather like that could be a bit of a lather uh, killer. And as soon as I added it in there, I actually saw, like, I saw it melt some of the lather. I mean, that is to be expected, so don't, don't trip when you see it. That is to be expected. Stuff like that, that liquid menthol additive. I would only recommend doing it if you have a killer lather. And at that point, you know, only add a little bit at a time. Kind of see how your lather holds up to it. Or you could put it in like, put it in with your pre-shave to get a little pre-shave action. You know, and if your pre-shave soap doesn't hold up, who gives a damn? Because you're going to put the real deal on after that. You're just trying to get a little bit of that cooling on the skin. Or, you can just wait till the aftershave, add it in with the aftershave. That's not going to make no difference. Um, but it's just kind of up to you, however you want to go about it. You'll, you'll kind of figure it out, dial it in. That's kind of why I like my uh, bougie chill mill. The, th the chiller and the pillar, as I call it. The menth diller. I like doing it that way because those menthol crystals, I, d I don't think that they harm my lather as much as the liquid form does. The liquid form seems to really eat away the lather. Like, it just, like, erodes the lather in a negative way. Uh, whereas the crystals... They don't seem to do that to the same extent. Anyways, beautifully dense, luxurious lather. This one, Cedrati, is based off of a niche perfumer's um, scent called... Um, the niche perfumer is Mansara. And then the scent that this is based off of is Cedrat Bois or Cedrat Bo Boise or Boise or I don't know. I'm not from wherever the fuck they're from. But I've heard a lot of good things about that scent. And I'll tell you what, this is a very good smelling soap. All right. Going to be using the old Henkel's Free Door again. Same razor I used yesterday. Absolutely love this razor. Love the spine work on it. I love the edge on it. Just a beautiful razor. So I did, I shaved with this yesterday on Instagram. I had a wonderful first impression. Had a wonderful shave with it. And I pretty much came to the conclusion that I think I'm going to buy Holy Cause Vegan Base from now on instead of Sierra. I'm not one of those shavers that clings to the old ways and I don't cling to the belief that tallow is better than vegan. I think that's bullshit <laughs> because vegan is so good these days. 
And tallow is so good these days. But I just think you can't say that anymore. Can't say that tallow is better than vegan these days. Because the vegan soaps that we have are fucking killer. And you just, in a lot of cases, the vegan soaps just blow the tallow soaps out of the water. And in some cases, they are equal with the best tallow soaps. So, I just feel like you can't say that tallow is better anymore. And, uh, even if it was better, vegan is at such a level that I would never need a better vegan from the point that it is at now I would never need a better vegan than what I got now like Zingari Man's new vegan was absolutely killer Holy Cause vegan that I that I've just recently acquired is absolutely killer Southern Witchcrafts, absolutely killer. Um, Panna Crema Nuevia, I don't know if that's vegan or if it's just non-tallow, but fucking killer soap face. Um, and many more. So, it, I just, that's not even a factor anymore. Now then, Sierra is a very well-known, well-respected soap base from Holy Ka. It's their tallow base. And it's in the $30 range. And this vegan offering was about $22, $23, which is pretty good. It's... It's in the, you know, not painful territory. Um, for me, personally, we each have our own budgets. But it's in the not painful territory for me. And so, I have no problems whatsoever picking up Holy Cause Vegan Base. And, personally, I've always wanted to support Holy Cause further. Because I, I love the fact that they have hops extract in their ingredients list. I'm a beer drinker. I love hops. I love... You know, anything that has to do with hops. And so, I've always wanted to support them further because they've had that ingredient for a long time. But, I've had a lot of swing and misses with their scents. I know that's not, you know, not everybody has had a bad experience with Holy Caw. They're a very popular brand. But it seems like I have had a bad experience with them. And that price point never made it easy for me to experiment further. You know what I mean? It was always it was always a little bit out of my reach, in my opinion. Like I could afford it, yes, but it was always like past that threshold that I wanted to pay. When I first started and Holy Cow was, you know, closer to 20 bucks. But everything else I was buying at the time was around 15 bucks. I was just, uh, you know, it was like, it was just a little bit out of reach. It was more expensive than everything else. And then, you know, the community started to shift a little bit. Um, the artisans all started charging like 20 uh, to 25 bucks on the high end. And Holy Cow goes... Well, I'm going to charge 30, you know? And so it was always kind of like, what the fuck, man? Like, you're just staying like... Like, you're purposefully staying more expensive than everyone else. And it was kind of irritating, you know? Because I've always wanted to experiment with their offerings further. I've had, you know, a number of misses from them. And, I, you know, I just... They're one of the ones that I would like to have a sample of first before buying the full thing because I just don't trust their scents, you know? Uh, that's just me, personally. But, I'll say I've had a couple good experiences as of late. 
I did get Sierra in the Vor V scent around uh, Halloween. And that was a very good one. Like I said, Sierra was a bit finicky for me. I haven't got a ton of uses with Sierra, but I definitely don't have to try very hard with other soaps. And I don't have to load heavy with other soaps. And with Sierra, I found that I had to both try hard and load heavy to get a good lather. And I was just kind of like not interested in that. This vegan base lathered up very easily. Yesterday I loaded heavy just to be on the safe side. I ended up with gobs of lather and I didn't actually end up using all the soap. There was still like a fair amount of soap left in my shaving bowl. Just stuck to the walls. It was buried under the, the thick, luxurious lather that I made yesterday. Um, and so today, with that lather that was stuck on the sides of the bowl, I just added a wee bit more to the mix and started lathering up and it lathers up very easily just a few additions of water before you have some good volume and you sprinkle in a little bit more water and then you'll get that nice uh, shine to the lather and it's ready to go like as soon as those peaks go from stiff to floppy and they're able to hold their shape but just fold over on you, on themselves and that's kind of like the perfect consistency it doesn't have to be a sopping dripping mess like it doesn't have to be that wet in my opinion the leather can still be dense enough to hold its shape but hydrated enough for the peaks to kind of fold over on each other or on themselves I should say and that's good enough I mean, it's good enough for me anyways and if someone with my shitty technique can shave with it, then so can you. <clears throat> so, Killer Scent, it's a citrus, um, woody accord. Obviously, it has a prominent cedar note, but there's a uh, citrus top to it. So, very nice fragrance. I think it's perfect for the summertime. Really... This is one of those crowd pleasers that's good for a year round wear and I would say it's good for any occasion. It's just one of those ones where it's like this one could be worn casually doing errands or just hanging out at the house. It could be worn to work professionally. This is one that I think date night would benefit from. I'm just redistributing that lather a little bit. This vegan base does have some really good ingredients. Might not be one to like take out to a club. Doesn't exactly have the uh, the club vibe, but almost all occasions, this is a good one for a citrus woody accord. Very nice. Um, and then besides that, the vegan base is wonderful. Um, I don't know yet. I haven't had enough uses with it to like put it, you know, compare it with other vegan bases. But I will say with these uh, initial two uses that it is very good. Um, it, it competes with my favorites. So. 
I will say that. It competes with my favorites. Fantastic vegan soap base. <clears throat> I just love that luxurious density that it creates. Um, and it has good stability and longevity. Like it doesn't start breaking down on my face even when I threw some liquid menthol in it. Held up very nicely. Gave me all the slickness I would ever need, ever, ever, ever. And it just had a wonderful, wonderful fragrance. They picked a great cologne to, to dupe. Now, before I end the shave, I'm gonna get a little aftershave action. This is the aftershave toner, which I've used their alcohol splash in the past. And this is instead their toner, which, I don't know, I don't think it has alcohol. And so I used this yesterday and it left my skin feeling fucking awesome. It gave me this kind of silky skin feeling that some of my absolutely favorite aftershaves have that same quality and property that leave my skin feeling like almost silky soft. Not like a satin soft, where it's just kinda, it's soft to the touch, but it almost feels like dry or a neutral skin feeling. Not like satin. It's like, it like actively feels moisturized because it has that like silky, um, feeling to it. Not the strongest aftershave in the world, it's probably a notch under medium, but the scent is there, it smells great, and that, that toning, uh, skin conditioning, really good shit. So, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this one. Holy Cause Vegan Base and their aftershave toner, good shit. And Cedrati is definitely a winner for me. So, cheers, I appreciate you guys for watching, I hope you had a good weekend. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.